to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. So, yeah. NBC family, visitors, all joining us by audio, video, we want to welcome you. Amen. And we let you know God loves you, we love you, and just ask you to be ready to receive what God has for you. Amen. Amen. And he's got great things for you. He wants to bless you, encourage you, change you, and he wants to correct you. Amen. Yeah. So, praise God, some of us need a little correction. We got to get back and the narrow way we got to get back in in line with what he wants us to do that's right hey man we're going to be talking about opening and closing opening and you know we're about the end of the month this is december and uh we're about ready to close this this uh this uh year and we're going to wow. be starting a new year amen so we're going to be talking a little bit about opening and closing mm. amen and what we do is we open a new day we open a new month we open a new year yes but we want to leave it behind and press on with new things. Yes. Amen. So, hallelujah. Praise God. Um, just want you to know that God loves you and he's got good things for you. He's got plans for you. He's not finished with you. Amen. If you're a child of God, God's not finished with you. If you're a child of God, you need to be busy for him. Yeah. No, quit waiting on God. He's waiting on you. Yeah, yeah. And we, well, we get in the habit of saying that, you know. Well, I'm waiting on God. He didn't talk to me in a while. And no. your little dusty Bible sitting over there. Uh -huh. Each time you open it up, dust it off, and open it up, and then he talked to you. Yeah. Amen? And we're not letting him in. We got to open up and let him in. It's called relationship. We got to have a relationship with them. Yeah, Amen? Same, yeah. So praise God. And here's another thing that's very important. You got to make yourself available. Yeah. We make ourselves available for everything else or anyone else but we never available for him you know say yeah. well I'll pray later and later comes and we're asleep uh -huh. later comes and we're up yeah. and later comes and we're too busy yeah so let's remember this okay so I'm excited I don't know about you I just want to share this nugget with you if you pray about it don't stress about it that's it if you pray about it don't worry about it that's it the Bible says cast it on him First Peter 5 7 says, Casting all your care on upon him because he careth yes, for you. Yes. Amen. So let's let's remember this. We're trying to carry stuff that we're not meant to carry. That's it. He says, Give it to me. I've got a mission for you. You're not going to complete your mission with all this extra weight on you. You gotta release it, give it to him. Amen. Yes. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Praise God. I am excited. Let's make this declaration together. Grab your sword. Okay. And let's put this declaration together. Amen. Amen. This is my Bible. I, I, I have what it says I have. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the Word of God. I will only confess my mind is alert, my spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Let's remember that we fight a spiritual battle daily, and the battlefield is the mind. So we need to keep that mind renewed to the things of God with the Word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Woo, I'm excited. Amen. I don't know about you. Lord, if you're not excited, get excited. Yes. <laughs> Closing the old and opening yes. the new. Let's go to one of our texts. It's uh, 2 Corinthians 5 17. 2 Corinthians. 5, Corinthians 5 17. Yep. We've all been there. That's okay. Let's read it again. It says, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, uh -huh. he is a new creature. A new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. And all things are of God yes. and hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and hath given us the ministry of reconciliation. So you may not be called to a fivefold ministry, apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, or teacher, but you've been called to the ministry of reconciliation. Yes. And if you go down a little more, it talks about being ambassadors for him. Yeah. Amen. Basically, is yes, he's the head, we're the body, and the body, we've got yeah. the mouth to go out and be his uh, apostles. Yes. Amen. Be his uh, ambassadors, I mean. Yes. Excuse me. So, praise God. Let's go from there. You cannot start a new day, a new chapter of your life, if you keep redoing oh, or you keep rereading the same last one. You yeah. know, I've had this written down somewhere down the road here, but, uh, it's insanity. Yeah. You know, we, we say the same things. You want new things, but you keep doing the same same yeah. thing. Yeah. That's insanity. Mm -hmm. 
we got to make some changes. Yes. And it's, it's, it, we, we have to. So we start a day by, well, the old thing is forgetting what is behind yeah. and passing, and, and the past, forgetting, let me read it over. Forgetting what is behind, mm -hmm. the past, the yesterdays. Yeah. And the new is rejoicing. Yeah. Being glad in this new day, this new beginning God has given us. Yeah. He gives us a new beginning. He yes, gives us a new day on a daily basis. Yes. And you know, he says, rejoice and be glad. Yes, God is with us. You know, if God is on our side, yes, I'm yes. going to be happy. Yeah. Amen. But you don't know what I'm facing. Mm. But you don't know my God. Yeah, that's it. You know, are you going to magnify him or are you going to magnify your problem? Mm -hmm. Are you going to keep magnifying your giant or are you going to magnify your God? That's it. <laughs> the thing is, it's on you. Yeah. You know, the more close, closer relationship you have, you start confessing him. And you're going to start magnifying him. Yeah. Just like David. He saw Goliath. He saw the giant. He said, wait a minute. My God is bigger. Mm -hmm. He said, he's always there for me. He's delivered me from these things. And so can we. Amen. We can do the yeah. same thing. And let's go to Philippians. Oh, back one. Or one up. There we go. <laughs> Philippians chapter 3, verses 12 through 14. Oh, yeah. I read it to you. Not that I have already obtained all of these or have already arrived at my goal, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took a hold of me. Yeah. Hold of me. 13 says, Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, uh -huh. but one thing I do. <laughs> one thing I do. Okay, all right. You can scratch that I and uh, put your name there. Name, One thing yeah. I do is forgetting what is behind and straining towards forward to what is ahead. Yeah. And then it says fourteen again. I. Yeah. Press on towards the goal to win the price for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. This is an NIV. Yes. So we have something to do. Yeah. Uh, we we got to press on. Yes, you know, when we talk about the armor of God, mm. everything covers the front. Uh -huh. Nothing covers the back. You know, yeah. <laughs> God has not called us to be cowards. No. Okay. If you feel that way, it's because you don't have him or you don't know him. It's time that you confess him as your Lord and yes. Savior. Yes. Get saved. Mm -hmm. Because if you have Christ in your life, <laughs> yeah. you're not going to be afraid. Amen. And the more word you get in you, the more faith you, right. you have. You'll increase in your faith and forget about the fear. He's not giving me a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and yeah. of a sound mind. Amen. So he's done the same with you. Uh -huh. Don't exclude yourself. Include yourself. When you don't have a relationship, you exclude yourself, and the enemy is going to keep you busy, isolated, yeah. saying, well, you know, he don't care about you. You're not one of his. Okay? That's a lie. Anytime he moves his lips, He's lying. So, you know, yeah. he's the father of all That's lies. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Philippians, yeah. let me see what I wrote here. Philippians 4, 13 and, 4, uh, 13 and 14. No, dear brothers and sisters, I have not achieved it, but I focus on one thing, forgetting the past and looking forward to what is ahead. So I press to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God, through Christ Jesus, is calling us. Press it on. Press on, child of God. And look forward and not back. Yes. Amen. Yeah. There we go. This thing, what this one thing I do is forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward or re reaching forth unto those things which are before. Amen. I press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 13 and 14. That's you. Man, you're just getting it on. You're just striving. <laughs> getting to what God has called you to do. Amen. Doing what God has called you to do. He's equipped you. He's anointed. He's called you, equipped you, and anointed you to do what you're called to do. Yes. So don't disqualify yourself. You've already qualified. Don't wait for people's approval. Don't wait for the world's approval. He's already approved you. <laughs> if you got God's approval, it's time to get busy. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Come on now. Ooh, those are nice, Carmen. Keep going. <laughs> I like those. Keep the eye on the prize. Philippians 3, 12 to 14. <laughs> or through uh, chapter 4 and 1. Keep your eye on the prize. Heaven is our home. We're just passing through. This is not our home. The Bible says yeah. 
This is not your home. If you're a child of God, this is not your home. Heaven is our home. So I'm keeping my eye on Christ. Mm, I'm getting, I'm going home one day. He's going to call us all. Or he's going to come break the sky and, 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 and rapture us out of here. Amen. Keep going. Yeah. I like these. It says, don't let anyone or anything get in the way of your relationship with God. That's it. Mm -hmm. Let's remember this. The enemy has distractions. Don't let distractions get in your way. And you're not exempt. He's going to use everyone. Yes. God uses people. That's his body, the church, the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. Satan uses people. If you're not a child of God, don't say, Well, I'm not in it. I'm not in them. I'm not I'm not one of them. Uh -huh. Well, if you're not one of us and on the right side, you're on the wrong side because okay. Satan's gonna have you. Yeah. You can't be in the neutral. <laughs> you can't be in the middle. Yeah. You gotta be one side or the other. Yeah. And he got you. You may not know it, but I'm letting you know. <laughs> So praise on child of God and look forward to what's next. Uh, Psalms 118, 24 says, This is the day the Lord has made. Some translation says, We, some say, I will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Amen. We read that scripture all the time. Which time we get a hold to it. You know, because we're all stressed out. We got all kinds of anxieties and cares and all kinds of things. But he says, This is the day I've given you. I woke you up this morning. Yeah. You open your eyes mm -hmm. and instead of thanking him and thinking it to be glad and rejoice, we're thinking about all the stressful things we got to do. Oh, your priority list, man, is, is a mile long. Uh, and on top of that list, you have Jesus nowhere on that list. Oh. That's a big problem right there. That's your oh. biggest problem right there. <laughs> we rejoice and be glad in it. Start every day praising him. Setting your priorities in the right order. Matthew 6.33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and yes. his righteousness and all these other things shall be added yeah. unto you. Amen. So get your priorities in order. Amen. Rejoice and glad, be glad on the new God-given day. Yes. Amen. Again, Psalms 118.24. Rejoice in the new God-given day. He's given you this day. Yes. If you didn't wake up and you're not behind a hearse, <laughs> it's time to get busy for God. Yes. Amen. Come on now. <laughs> I'm preaching better than you ain't men than me. Right. <laughs> Stay positive in the negative world. Yes. Romans 12 and 2 says this. Yeah. Renew your mind. Renew your mind with the word of God. Yeah. Be transformed. Keep going, Curtin. Let me see what else I got back. No looking back. Look uh -huh. forward. Remember the Lot's wife? Uh -huh. Lord told him, don't look back. Yes, Lot's wife, turn around and look back. She's still there. Uh -huh. Keep going. Break out of your prison. Break out of the prison of your past. Some of us are still in prison. This one is good for you. Keep going the next one. Never be a prisoner of your past. It was a lesson, not a life sentence. That's it. I've been delivered. How about you? <laughs> We've been delivered. You know, Jesus found us. You know, we go around saying, I found Jesus. He wasn't lost. We, we was lost. <laughs> we was yeah. lost. And going the wrong way and going to hell. Yeah. We didn't find him. He found us. Yeah. Amen. Yes. He found us. You know when he found us? When he went to the cross and Amen. allowed himself to be sacrificed for yes. us. Amen. Amen. That's salvation. So mm -hmm. he's given us salvation. We need to receive salvation. Yes. It's a free gift. Yes, it is. And all we need to do is say, Lord Jesus, I really messed up my life. I need you in my life. Be my. I confess you. I make you my Lord and Savior. And man, when you say those things, things are going to change. And you start changing things. Things are going to get better and better. Praise God. Well, I'll leave it at that. One more, Colonel. Let me see. Don't waste your time looking back on what you've oh, lost. Move on. For life is not meant to be traveled backwards. All right. <laughs> Yeah. I'm glad uh, when we drive somewhere, we put it in drive and we go forward. Mm. Well, that's life for us. Yeah. We got to go forward, not mm -hmm. backwards. That's Amen. it. You ain't going to be no good to anybody going backwards. Amen. That's it. So praise God. It's time to press that's on. Right. You know, if you got some bad things, sin, confess it and yes. get it out. Yes. God yes. says, Jesus says, 
I've forgiven you. Yeah. I will I'll forget it and I'll forgive I'll forgive you and forget it. Yes. We need to yeah. do the same thing. If yes. it's still in your head and you've asked forgiveness, it shouldn't be there. It's the enemy keeping it there yeah. and reminding you and saying, oh, you got the wrong person. That's not mine. It's been confessed, it's been forgiven, it's yes. been forgotten, and I'm gonna forgive it too. I'm gonna forget it too. Yes. It's gone. Oh, Lord. Don't stay in that cycle. Amen. That's it. That's it, Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Keep, excuse me, Romans 12 and 2 was renew your mind with the Word of God. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're a tri and you, you have a body, mm -hmm. you have a spirit, and you have a soul. Yeah. So feed your spirit the Word of God. Feed yes. your soul, your mind, will, and emotions. Yes. Renew with the Word of God. Yes. And your flesh, your body, you says crucify. Amen. Don't let it have everything at once. <laughs> it cries for it. Keep a grateful, winning attitude. Not a bad, not a losing, not regretting attitudes. We got to keep a, a positive, a winning, grateful attitude. Thank you. Thanking Him. We just had that Thanksgiving. But don't wait for Thanksgiving to be grateful and thank Him every day. Thank you, Lord, for waking me up. Thank you for giving me this assignment. Thank you for giving me this mission. I can do all things through Christ. Who strengthens me. Amen. Remind yourself what the word of God. Just go over and over and over. Because if not. The enemy. If you don't renew your mind. The enemy is going to bring it. And he's going to use people. That's going to remind you. Of your past. Amen. And say wait a minute. That's, that's past. That's, that's gone. Uh, we don't have to go there no more. Amen. Stay in drive mode. Pressing on. Moving forward. Never on idle. Neutral or lukewarm. Stay hot for God. Amen. We have to stay hot. Remember last week we talked about stirring ourselves up. You got to stir yourself up. Yeah. We wait on somebody else to do it. They're going to stir you up and get you hot about something else. Uh -huh. And not God. Say, well, this is what I do. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> I don't want to smoke it. I don't want to drink it. I don't want to inject it. I don't want to do any of that stuff. Amen. Amen. If I'm going to get high, I'm going to get high on the most high. Most high. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Stay high for God, not lukewarm and not cold. Yes, he says in uh, Revelation 3, uh, 16 says in the uh, New King James. So then because you are lukewarm and neither hot nor cold, he says, I will vomit you out of my mouth. Now that's bad. I don't even like that word vomit. <laughs> But wow. it will. Yes. You know, he, that's what he said. So let's not be part-time. We talked last week about being part-time kids for Christ. You know, he ain't looking for part-time kids. He's looking for full-time kids. Full custody. Amen. Not part-time custody. <laughs> Hallelujah. And uh, we battle against a full-time devil. You're part-time. You, you ain't no, no match. To a full time devil. That's right. Amen. Amen. The Bible says you can do all things through Christ. I mean, be full time, not part time. Start every day forgetting the past, letting go of past sins, failures, setbacks, cares, anxieties, worries, lacks, uh, bad habits, negative attitudes. You'd be surprised when I talk to people, people walk up to me and they start talking. Immediately, I can tell they're still in the past. They're still confessing negative things. They're still saying all these things that's happened to them. And they're still in that losing cycle. Amen. Let's, let's get out of that. Yesterday is past. It's gone. Live for today. Yeah. Tomorrow, mañana, <laughs> it never comes. Yeah. Mañana has got more problems. It's got enough problems of itself. I mean, today has yeah. got enough problems of itself. You don't need tomorrow's problems on you. Amen. And you don't need to be carrying yesterday's problems on you. He says, cast it on me. Give it to me. Mm -hmm. Don't take the trash bag. Mm. Amen. You give it to him, leave it there. Yes. <laughs> yes. Things to clean. The mind, the spirit. Well, I already talked to you about this, but spirit. <coughs> you fight a spiritual battle every day. Mm -hmm. The mind is a spiritual battlefield. Mm -hmm. Needs cleaning every day. Yeah. Needs renewing every day. Every day. As often as it takes. Mm -hmm. Renew it with the word of God. That's not what the Word of God says. Mm. You know, for you to say that, you need to know what the Word of God says. Mm. <laughs> that means you got to get into it. Yeah. And when somebody says something negative, when somebody you hear something negative and something wrong, says, 
I'm not receiving them. Mm -hmm. So I'm renewing that with the Word of God. I can do all things through Christ. Yes. Yes. Amen. People will limit you. People will unqualify you mm -hmm. if you let them. Correct. Amen. Don't let them. Mm -hmm. Give yourself a spiritual bath. Yes. Clean anything that tries mm -hmm. to attach to yourself. You know, this past week, thank God we have, I have, well, we have four vehicles. <laughs> And I had the privilege of washing all of them. And you know, every time I, every time I wash them, every time I wash them, <laughs> you know, especially in the front, you wash all these bugs off the grill. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you wash all these bugs off the windshield, off the grill. Man, where did all these things come from? You go out on a daily basis and all these native things will attach themselves to you mm -hmm. if you let them. So you got to give yourself a spiritual bath. Get Amen. all this negative. Get the world off of you. Renew your mind. <clears throat> Amen. But you have to do it for yourself. Yes, you do. If you go on this way, it's just going to overtake you. You're no match to the enemy. If you're fighting a spiritual battle with a, and you're trying to fight it without the word of God, mm -hmm. you're no match. Yeah. You're no match. You're, you've already lost. You know, with him we're everything. Without him we're nothing. That's it. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. It says, Lord cleans us. Don't take back what he's detached from you. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you, I, I, I say it like this. When you take your trash to the dumpster, you never take it back. You leave it there. Mm -hmm. So why are we in the habit of taking back what we gave him? Well, maybe he didn't hear us. Maybe there's a time limit here. Let's remember this. Let's be patient. Amen. Stop remembering what God has forgiven and forgotten. Mm -hmm. Man, you can write that down. Yeah. <laughs> this is awesome. You write it somewhere and put it where mm -hmm. you can see it all the time. Stop remembering what God has forgiven and forgotten. Right. Amen. And you know, sometimes <laughs> he uses, the enemy uses family. Oh, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sometimes he uses friends. <laughs> sometimes. He used anybody that's available to remind you. He hadn't forgiven you. You know? Yeah. Let's, let's just leave it there. Yes. Psalms 103 and 12 says in New, New King James, As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed your transgressions, your sins from you. Amen. As far as the east is from the west, you know the two never come together? That's it. It just keeps going and going and going. That's it. That's Amen. It. So... Thank you, Lord. He, he lets it go. He forgives and forgets. Mm -hmm. We need to do the same thing. Yes. If you're still, if it's still in there, mm -hmm. it's time to say, yes. He's forgiven me, and I'm not going to carry this That's anymore. It. It. I'm letting it go. Let it go. Amen. 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 As far as the is from the West, infinity. Infinity means immeasurable, endless, boundless, mm -hmm. countless, unlimited. Yeah. He never brings it back. It's That's gone. That's it. Hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Don't let me. Um, let me uh, read this again. Philippians 3, uh, our text. Philippians 3, 12 and 14. New Living, New Living Translation. I don't mean, I don't mean, I don't mean to say that I have already achieved these mm -hmm. things or that I have already uh, reached perfection. Huh. But I press on to possess the perfection in which Christ Jesus first possessed me. Yes. 13. No, dear brothers and sisters, I have not achieved it, but I focus mm -hmm. on the one thing, forgetting yeah. the past and looking forward to what lies ahead. Uh -huh. 14. Again, I press on to reach the end of the race uh -huh. and receive the heavenly prize for which God, through Christ Jesus, is calling me. Amen. He has called you. He's got this called on you, and it's not going to be completed mm -hmm. until your mission is done. Yes. yes. Let's Go ahead and fulfill our mission. Mm -hmm. You know, some of us get cut short. Yeah. Because we're not being uh, obedient. Yeah, Amen. Right. <laughs> so let's enter this uh, new day, our new year. Yeah. Uh, uh, 2022 with new opportunities, mm. new assignments, new responsibilities, new yes. beginnings. Amen. Amen. Fresh start on things we want to accomplish. Personally, maybe... A uh, better relationship with him, better health, better business, better goals. Mm. You know this will fit whatever whatever fits you. Yeah. Amen. Spiritually, spiritual goals of maturing, growing in him, relationship, 
The only way to grow here is having a relationship. Mm -hmm. Opening the word, getting in the word, studying to show yourself approved. Mm -hmm. One step at a time, one day at a time. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Stronger community. Is, excuse me. <laughs> stronger commitment to serving God. Yeah. And NBC. New Beginnings Church. Don't let the enemy, people distract, people, distractions, things, excuses hold you back from what God has called you to do or accomplish. You know, every, I can't say for everybody, but this uh, COVID thing is taking people out of church mm -hmm. and some people haven't even come back. Mm -hmm. Some people are still in fear. Yeah. If you're in fear, I, I question your relationship. Mm -hmm. yes. You should, you should uh, have a stronger relationship. Because, I say this because the nightclubs, the bars, the sporting events, I see the, the football games, I see the basketball games, and those places are packed. Mm -hmm. And they have, a lot of those people have no masks on. Mm -hmm. And they have no problems going to these sporting events, these worldly events, but we fear coming to church, <laughs> gathering ourselves together, mm -hmm. assembling ourselves together. It's time to say, hey, you know, I'm going to take a step of faith. Mm -hmm. We need to take yes. steps of Amen. faith and do yes. what God has called us yes, to do. do. Assemble yes. ourselves together. Yeah. <laughs> we ain't shown nothing to, to the world except we're fearful. Because we can't even come uh -huh. and gather ourselves together. And they, mm -hmm. they show themselves all gathered up yeah. in these events. Forget the past and press pressing on daily. Forgetting the past and pressing on daily. Yeah. So lessons here's a few lessons to learn from the Apostle Paul. <laughs> we all have imperfect past. <laughs> we all have uh, sin. We all have faults. That we're ashamed of. Wish we hadn't done. Wish we um, no one knew about. We must forgive, forget, and press on. You keep hearing this over and over and over. Forgive, forget, and press on. You can write that down and put it somewhere where you can see it. I'm forgiven, forgotten, and press on. Forgive, for, forget, and press on. Don't be a slave of your past. You already saw it up here. Don't be a prisoner of your past. Amen. Paul said, I've done worse. Sounds familiar? Uh -huh. Oh, yes. You know, people yeah. come up to you, like I said, including family, come up to you and say, man, you guys so bad. And be careful sometimes in church. Yeah. People walk up to you and say, man, you've done something. Well, you can't serve in church anymore because you've done the unpardonable sin. God can't use you anymore. You'll have to sit for the rest of your life because God is finished with you. That's a lie. Yeah, it is. There's no way I could ever be used by Jesus. A lot of us say, say that. You know, you come into the things of God now saying, you know, hey, what I've done, God wouldn't even use me. You know, I've had this list, and you've seen it before, yeah. of all these Bible heroes and all the sin they were in and what they've done, and God still used them. Yes, correct. Yes, he did. Amen. So, guess what? He still wants to use you. Yes, he does. If he called you, you want to get a child of God, it's time to get busy. Yes. Amen. You, you've got a part in this. Yes, you do. <laughs> God's not looking for perfect, sinless Christians. Right. He's looking for available Christians. Amen. All Bible heroes sinned. They're not perfect, but still used by God. Yeah. So, He wants to use you. I don't care who you are, what you've done. He wants to use you. Yes. Get things right with God. Dust yourself off. Uh -huh. Get yourself up. And guess what? <laughs> get busy for God. Yes. Amen. I want Lord. I want to. I want to do this for you. Uh -huh. You here's here's sin, and you've heard this before. It says sin keeps you keeps believers, and Christians, from fulfilling what God has called and equipped you to do. Sin keeps believer believers from mm -hmm. fulfilling what God called and equipped you to do. Mm -hmm. And you can write that somewhere. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. And so this is this is sin. Takes you further than you want to go. Uh -huh. Keeps you longer than you want to stay. All right. Cost and costs you more mm -hmm. than you want to pay. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
And I guarantee you, as long as you're in sin, mm -hmm. enemies not going to mess with you. That's it. You try to get out of sin, he's uh -huh. going to give you hell. Oh, yeah. That's it. Amen. Mm -hmm. So, press on to greater things with him. Paul was an old man. Yes. And I just want you to hear this. If you're young, if you're young, if you're young, old, big or small, mm -hmm. size, color, That's it. it doesn't okay. matter. If you're doing it unto the Lord, yes, you know, you're doing the right thing. Amen. So age, size, color does not matter. What matters is this, being available, being faithful, being uh -huh. submitted, and being committed to it. Yes. That makes a big difference. Amen. Since Paul was in house arrest, awaiting to be executed, uh -huh. still wrote this letter to the Philippians. Instead of Paul retiring and being worried, mm -hmm. kind of like, uh, Paul and Silas, uh, Silas. Mm -hmm. in the midnight hour they worship mm -hmm. God mm -hmm. staying stirred up staying hot staying thirsty for God oh, yes. yeah. you're on house arrest you're in prison <laughs> wherever you happen to be find That's yourself right. amen uh -huh. still stirred up yes. hot for God yes. and yes. thirsty for things of God yes. and guess what more. after you get all these things you just want to press on. Yes, yeah. And you want to go forward. Mm -hmm. I don't see you full of God uh -huh. or being all stirred up and then <laughs> run backwards. <laughs> I right. want to run forward. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. I want to go forward. Yes. Press it on every day, daily for uh, for life. Stirred up, hot, thirsty, and hungry, hungry for God. Amen. Leave no place and no room for lukewarm, cold, easy, comfy, nice, or unchanged. Mm -hmm. If you have friends like this, mm -hmm. it's time you change. Yeah. Amen. You hang around skunks, you're going to stink. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you sure. hang around friends like this that's going to drag uh -huh. you back in those things. Let mm -hmm. them go. Yeah. It's time to make a change. Yes. Amen. Paul, Paul says in Philippians 3 13, that says, I press on. Yeah. Strengthen towards what is ahead every day, yeah. every, new, every month, every new year. Mm hmm. A new job, new assignment, new task, a yeah. new beginning. This my daily Christian walk is overcoming giant cares, giant problems, giant anxieties, giant financial debts, giant storms of life, and whatever may come or whatever you're battling. Yes. You might be battling different things than me, mm -hmm. but still. I can do all things through all Christ. Things. Amen. Yeah. Paul determined to move on from his past yes. and gain more from Christ. So can we. Yeah. Paul put, says, put some feet to your faith. Uh -huh. Hebrews 11.1. Yes. 1. Without faith, it is impossible to please him. Yes. Hebrews 11.6. 11, move on out of your comfort zone. Yes. Come out of your box. Yes. Come out of your boat. Amen. Yes. And be a Christian, be a believer for God. The goal is worth the effort. Yes, Heaven is. is worth the effort. Effort is to determination uh -huh. to serve, to work, to have the power and the strength to do these things. Right. Amen. Um, Colossians, one of my favorite scriptures, Colossians three twenty three and twenty four from the uh, New NIV. New NIV uh, excuse me, in the New uh, King James it says. Verse 23, and whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not to men. Yes. Verse 24, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of the inheritance, yes. for you serve the Lord Christ. Yes. If you're going to serve the Lord Christ, no, he's already paid. Yes. Everything's paid. Yes, it is. Amen. If you're going to do it unto him, you're going to have the attitude of gratitude. Yes. You're going to have an attitude of serving uh -huh. no matter what. No matter if you see people ungrateful, mm -hmm. you see hateful people, oh, you see boy. people that say things to you, mm -hmm. flip you off, yeah. or whatever. Mm -hmm. Still, he, Christ died for them too. Yes, he did. Amen. And he's going to use you yeah. to bring them into the kingdom of God. Yes. You know, when you, if you're in the flesh... You're not going to accomplish these things. Yes, but if you get right. in the Word and obey what the Word of God says, mm -hmm. says you can do all things through Christ, Christ right. then you will accomplish these. Lord, yes. I need your love and compassion. Amen. 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 He says He's given us the fruit of the Spirit in us. Yes. we got to develop these things. Yeah. Amen. And the first one is love. Amen. You can't
can't go around <laughs> being pretenders. Amen. 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 You can't pretend. You got to be participators yes. and participate in what God's called you to do. Mm -hmm. Amen. And Hebrews, another one, one of my favorite scriptures is Hebrews 10, 6, or 6, 10, excuse me. New Living uh, Version says, God always does what is right. He will yeah. not forget the works you do or the works you did to help the Christians and the work you are still doing to help them. Uh -huh. This shows your love for Christ. That was Hebrews what now? Hebrews uh, 16. Oh, 16. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. And uh, Matthew 25 and 21 says this. His, his Lord said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Uh -huh. You were faithful over a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Amen. Enter into the joy of the Lord. Amen. So, let's stay focused. Stay yes. hungry and on fire for Christ. Amen. You know, a lot of times we stay on fire for things that we're not supposed to. You're a winner. You're a champion. You're yes. an overcomer. Amen. That's what the Word of God says. How do I know these things? Uh -huh. Where did you find these things? In well, I found them in the Word. Yeah. And if you get the Word in you, it's going to come out of you. Amen. Don't just hold it down. you got to let it come out. You know, the Word of God is powerful. Yes, it is. And effective. Yes. But you got to release them. Amen. Amen. You got to release them and go and accomplish what they're meant to do. Yeah. Paul decided to do what we must do. Uh -huh. <laughs> Amen. He turned the page. Forget the past. Yeah. Wherever you, you wherever you are, your presence. Let it go. Amen. Yes. Let go and let God press on. Uh -huh. Move on with God. Amen. The new day, the new year gives us greater opportunities yes. and new beginnings. Yes. To do what God calls us to do. That's Don't it. see your, never see yourself a loser. That's it. Amen. Mm -hmm. Never see yourself a loser. Amen. That's Staying hot and thirsty for God is really achieved without extra effort. That's it. Give it your all. Extra effort and excellence is stood up, fired up, and committed. Uh huh. Amen. Stay hot and step up to a whole new level. Every day, every year, yes. have a relationship with Jesus and seeking Him first. Amen. Relationship with others. Let Jesus be your role model yes. daily. Be Christ-like. Excel in Him. Amen. You know, <laughs> some of these uh, athletes, you know, they've said, don't see me as a role model. Huh. Why? Because they're not. And some of these children see them as role models. Yes. You know? Let Christ be your role model. Teach your children, yes. the Bible says, the way they should go. Yes. And when they're old, they won't depart from it. it. So it. we got to teach them. We don't let the world, we don't let anyone else teach them but us. Yes. This teaching starts at home, Amen. mom and dad. <laughs> Amen. It yes. starts at home. Mm -hmm. And if they're not being taught right, mm -hmm. we need to bring them back. Amen. Remember, you are the closest. Listen. You need to write this somewhere. Okay. Since you are the closest thing to a Bible, some people will ever see, some people will ever read, or some people will ever come close to being Christ-like. Let Christ be your role model. When they see you, they see Christ. Amen. Be encouraged to forget the past. Forget. Be encouraged to forget the past and press on in your service for Christ. Amen. On a daily basis, yearly, and for life. Yes, I made a change. You make that change too. Yes. Remember, you can do all things through Christ. All there we go. <laughs> Thank you, Carmen. I can do all things, some things, right? No. <laughs> I can do everything through Christ who strengthens me. A different uh -huh. translation, that's the NIV. King James says, I can do all things, all things. through Christ, mm -hmm. with Christ. Yes. Without Him, you can do nothing. Keep going. Okay, yeah. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything with prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be known to God, uh -huh. and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart yes. and minds through Christ Jesus. Philippians 4, 6-8, New King James. Yeah. Before we go, Let me, let me see. <clears throat> I told you about insanity, doing the same thing and expecting different results. Uh -huh, yeah. Make 
every day this new year 2022 uh -huh. be the best day the best year in your walk with christ and serving him okay. a part-time christian cannot defeat a full-time devil That's it. god doesn't want part-time children he wants full-time children yeah no, and don't know faith. how you don't know how to serve god have a relationship he'll yeah. serve you you'll start serving him amen don't amen. be a pretender be a participator amen yes. get involved we fight a spiritual battle daily against a full-time mm -hmm. devil he takes no breaks huh. we want to take breaks and be part-time mm -hmm. he takes no breaks That's it. listen soldier warrior professional employees whatever you call yourself mm -hmm. you do not train or are paid for part-time work That's you're it. paid to full-time work mm -hmm. amen for a full-time uh pay amen a full-time job don't cheat yeah. on god because he did not cheat on you right That's amen, it. amen. Yes. it's time for the mighty warriors of god to wake up yes. stir yourself up be empowered to press on yes god's yes. army is not called to be entertained yes. god's army is called to be empowered yes and to press on amen yes. we're mighty warriors yeah. for god warriors not warriors that's it. You don't need warriors. You need warriors. Amen. So in closing. Amen. <laughs> God loves you. And he cares for you. Amen. Yes, he cares yes. for you. <laughs> I just I just wanted to uh, read this story to you before uh, we go any further. And some of you have read it before. But I, I want to read it to you. It goes like this. It's about a re retired carpenter. The story is about a life we build in ourselves. Mm -hmm. An elderly cup, uh, carpenter was due to retire. Mm. He told his employer of his plans to retire and leave the business and start a new life. Freedom, rest, easy with his family, with his wife and family. He would miss the money, but the time was right and he was ready to hang up his hammer. Huh. His boss was disappointed. As the carpenter had been faithful, loyal, trustworthy, devoted, dependable, and a diligent worker for many years, so he was sad to see him go. He asked for one last favor, requesting that the carpenter would build one last house before leaving. Mm -hmm. This house is for a special friend, he says. No money, money is no object, material is no object, Design no object. Just yeah. do it. Don't hold back. Yeah. The elderly co uh, carpenter agreed, but his co-workers, friends, mm. had uh, fed him bad info. Yeah. Dislike and jealousy. How dare he would have you built another house when you are ready to retire? Mm. You don't care. He don't care about you. Mm. The elderly carpenter started working on the last project of his life. Mm. Since it was his last project, mm -hmm. he worked half-heartedly. Mm. Uh, Unintrust, mm. with no, with an uh, ungrateful attitude, he mm. said, no overtime. No more. He took shortcuts, used inferior, cheaper, poor, low-grade, and sub substandard materials, no and put in half-hearted effort. Mm -hmm. In the end, the final product product was well short of his excellent standards. Mm. A disappointing way to end his career. Yes. But pleasing to the world, his friends and to self. Huh. When the job was finished, the employer, the contractor, the boss came to inspect the work. After taking a long look, he handed the keys to the carpenter and said, He said, this is your house. It is my gift to you. Thank you for all your years of being loyal, of being faithful. Receive your blessing. Receive your reward. The carpenter was shocked and embarrassed and said, if only I had known, I would have made sure that everything was perfect. There you go. If only I had obeyed what the boss said. This house is for a special friend. 
Money, no object. Materials, no object. Design, no object. Just do it. Don't go back. If I had known <coughs> the consequences, I would have demanded excellence from myself. Choices, consequences. Mm -hmm. We're not that different. We go about our lives, our business, doing and working as we see fit. Mm -hmm. Just enough to get by and pleasing the world, friends and stuff. Some with passion, some without caring, some with excellence, <clears throat> some with low standards, mm -hmm. some with diligence, some mm -hmm. without effort. Yeah. We are all in the process of building our own lives with God's help or mostly self, me. Mm -hmm. If you're not happy with what you see, perhaps it's a direct consequences of what you've been building over your years. Build wisely, obeying his instructions. Yes. Contractors buildings use uh, blueprints. God's children use the Bible uh -huh. for instruction on how to build our lives to live and serve him best. Amen. Amen. This is us. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's given us all the materials we need to yes. build our lives. And we in him have used anything less of what he's given us to mm -hmm. do. So, Let's not go there. Amen. Amen. Let's learn from other mistakes. Yes. And let's not make these mistakes ourselves. Amen. So praise God. I That's hope you receive. Father, we thank you for the opportunity yes. you. to study your word, to be in your word, and do your word, Father. And before we close, you know, we just want to take this opportunity. Some of you have never asked Christ in your life. <laughs> so this is a great opportunity. Maybe yeah. this, maybe you've heard this story. And this is you. It hit you right at home. So you know what? This is the time to just say, Father, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come in my life. Be my Lord. I make you my Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. And you know what? He's not going to turn you back. He's just going to receive you with open arms. Yes. And from this day on, start living for a life for Him. A successful life with yes, Him. Yes, Amen. Yes. So praise God. Remember, you're a new creature in Christ now. Old is gone, new is in. Yes. If you have sickness in your body, just touch your body. Yes. Wherever you hurt it. And Father, we just thank you. Your word says, by your strength, by Jesus yes. Christ, we are healed. So yes. we're releasing that healing right now yes. in our bodies. Spirits of infirmities to be gone, sickness yes. to be gone. Thank you, Father. We receive that healing now in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise God. Woo. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, brother. And before we go, time to give. Those of you watching, those of you listening, giving of your tithes, your offerings, just go to our website, nbcbigben.com, and hit that donate button. And uh, if you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. Amen. We just want to say God loves you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you.